Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. Welcome to Nevada News Makes on the broadcast. Today we're going to talk housing in Northern Nevada with Teresa DiLoretto. She's the broker owner of Challenger Real Estate Services. Here for the whole show on an all new Nevada Newsmakers. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. Safety is the number one priority for the trucking industry. Over $7 billion a year is spent on technology, like this electronic eye, that will apply the brakes automatically but the most important factor for safety is the truck driver. These hardworking men and women who safely move over 70% of our nation's freight and 94% of Nevada's. We thank you because trucks move America forward. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad on No Holds Barred Political Forum. Now from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we're delighted to welcome for the first time to the program, Teresa DiLoretto. She is broker owner of Challenger Real Estate Services and uh, responsible in part for helping to develop Damani Ranch, which is 127 acres uh, in South Reno. That is a, that's a lot of land. Um, for people that cannot envision how big of a piece of land that is, the Grand Sierra Reno is 150 acres. Mm -hmm. And so if you think of the property and then all that land around it, yours is uh, almost as large as that, which is huge. Um, obviously, Northern Nevada um, is going through a housing crunch. Um, we desperately need more houses. Edon said several years ago uh, that we needed five, oh, uh, yeah, uh, I guess 5,000 new homes per year for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So a total of 50,000 new homes. Um, Obviously, we are struggling to get past 1,500 to 2,000 homes a year. Um, what are your thoughts on this and where we're heading? Well, Sam, first, thank you so much for having me on the show. And um, I, I am very honored to be a part of the Damani Ranch Master Plan community. Um, that's my dad's um, work of art. Uh, the entire ranch is actually 2,000 acres and our focus now is um, is our 127 acres as you mentioned. Um, housing has been um, as expected very cyclical so it um, we see some peaks in demand and then we have times where you just pray somebody's gonna walk through that door. Um, since 2007 once we recovered from that last um, major recession, or actually depression, um, really starting in about 2014, we started to see that recovery, prayed for people to walk through our doors, and has been at a steady incline, and in some cases, um, uncharted waters with mass quantities of people coming in searching for homes, which is exactly where we're at now. So, so who's coming? Who, who are the people that are coming right now? So there, uh, obviously, uh, many of the Californians, uh, we are seeing a lot of them, but that's not all. They're coming from all over the country to make way to Nevada. It's definitely um, made a mark on the map of our country and is a hugely desirable location. So we are seeing people from all over the place. Okay, so what do you think is driving this? Because, I mean, you can look at various segments and say, okay, uh, so senior citizens who have a lot of equity in their homes in California, they can sell a home uh, for cash that's uh, a fairly small home, uh, but for a lot more money than you would have to mm -hmm. pay and buy a much bigger property and have cash left over when they get to Nevada. You're seeing some companies relocate uh, to Northern Nevada from California. Um, what's driving people from across the country? Is, is it the Tesla effect that is doing that? So I, I do believe to some degree that um, the Tesla did have an effect in the sense that it was a sizable company that made um, our state recognizable. But the companies that also came following Tesla, I think also made a huge impact. But 
Northern Nevada, Reno, Sparks, Tahoe is a hugely desirable lifestyle choice for people. And so I think especially now more so than ever with COVID where people are staying home and they have a choice to be able to work remotely, they're looking at where they really want to spend their time. And we have four distinct um, you know, seasons and a tremendous amount of outdoor activities. And Reno is, I love it, the biggest little city in the world because People are still approachable. Um, you you still have that small town feeling, but yet we are starting to grow like um, some of the bigger cities. So I, I think it's about choice and uh, how amazing this part of the state is. Steve Scheel, when uh, he was about to open Shields, um, the world's largest sporting goods store in Sparks, Nevada, and I got to interview him right on the opening, and I said to him, why would you locate um, the world's largest sporting goods store in Sparks, Nevada. And he reeled off a list. He should have gone immediately to work for the Chamber of Commerce or the Convention Center uh, because he listed off every outdoor activity you mm -hmm. could possibly do. And he said, you can do all of those within driving distance from our store. Now, Star Bonds was also a reason why he wanted to sure. get invested in this. Um, but yes, he said the same thing, uh, which was that there was just so much to do here um, that would be usable by people buying his stuff, that it, it made sense. Going back a little bit further, so pre the recession, mm -hmm. um, uh, the Great Recession, um, there were times when people were lining up just to get on the list, not to actually purchase a house, but to get on the list to potentially purchase a house that was gonna be built down the road. Right. I know my wife and I, back <coughs> in the late 80s, um, we were on a list for two years. Um, we, we had a slot, but there wasn't going to be a release for two years. Where are we now in terms of that? I mean, do you have so many people on a list waiting for you to build the houses? We do. It's, it's unbelievable. And to some degree, it's, it's sad. We have people actually coming into our sales office in tears, um, a asking, is there anything we can possibly do to help get them into a home? There's just nowhere for them to go. We have, uh, in our current project, we have over 300 people that are on the wait list. And I will tell you that most of them, if not all of them, are extremely well qualified and more than capable of actually getting that transaction done. So we even have another community we're getting ready to bring online into Monty Ranch and there's over 110 names on that list as well. Interest. Um, we, have, we have not begun the qualification process for that project yet. So um, there is huge waiting lists. The buyers are very well qualified and uh, you know we do the best we can to put out what we can. Um, but we're not in a position, nor do we choose to compromise quality for quantity. So at this point, um, what's holding things up? Is it lack of workforce? Is it um, the, the having to recost uh, projects because the cost of lumber and other materials has gone up significantly over the last year or so? Um, what, what, what's holding things up from seeing mass building in Northern Nevada? Well, I think that's a multi-part answer. We got I time. I think <laughs> that first and, first and foremost in today's environment, certainly the supply chain is, is slowing us down. Um, that can be best managed with a strong, realistic construction schedule and timeline. So um, we may add two to three weeks to what we normally would be able to do in a week. Um, just by virtue of the fact that the windows, the windows may not show up. So that then shifts the entire construction schedule. So I do believe that that is part of the delay um, in, in getting that out. But also I think at least from my family, um, and I know many of my fellow builders are doing the same thing, we're not as aggressive in putting properties out into the market because we learned the hard way back during the great recession, depression. Because you, you all got very hurt, badly hurt. We don't want to get that far out in front of us. So our philosophy is only sell what we know we can deliver in a reasonable amount of time. Um, the homes that we build, we had gotten it down to a four month um, start to finish timeline. Now it's taking us six to eight months uh, to get that done. So knowing that, we adjust our schedule and what we're willing to sell and put out there based on that. So 
it, ultimately, that w that's what uh, what limits our ability to put inventory into the market. Okay, so, um, and your dad, uh, Perry DiLoreto, has been on the program several times before. Um, he had displayed in the past caution, which you were still exhibiting, uh, in terms of, of uh, the ability to build and sell. Mm -hmm. um, I look at the marketplace and I look at potentially 20 plus years of growth just because of the companies that are here and the companies that are coming here. Do you see the same thing or do you look at it in a much shorter time period and say, okay, we've got a one to five year plan rather than Sam's 20 year plan because he's an optimist? No, I don't. I, I, I think that we're going to see continued growth well into the, well into the future. How rapidly we grow, um, and how quickly we tho see those ex changes in expansion, I think, um, are going to depend on what we're able to really put out there. We are limited by our geography. So uh, much of our developable land is starting to get um, absorbed. Yeah. So um, I think that over time, um, th we may start to see that slow a little bit just because of geography. Um, but qualified buyers, um, and the desire to live in the great state of Nevada and more specifically the Reno Sparks area, uh, I, I don't see that I don't see that changing. Are you seeing a lot of people coming in and with cash offers exceeding uh, the asking price? We are and uh, it's and, and how does that make you feel? It's uh, it, it's um, I, the first word that comes to mind is a little disheartening. Maybe that's not the right word, but uh, it's we actually helped um, a, a buyer out of California come into town, and they had very specific criteria on what they wanted, and it, it was not something that exists here except for this particular location. And they paid four hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars over asking. Four hundred and eighty-five thousand. Wow! It's it's it kind of kicks you in the stomach because that's not necessarily what that home is worth, but it is to the person that's desperately trying to acquire a roof over their head for their family, and they have the wherewithal to do that, and that's what's happening. We're also seeing people compromise. Um, and be willing to forego inspections and things that they would normally do through the home buying process as part of their due diligence to ensure they understand very clearly what they're getting. So um, I don't think it's sustainable. I think that at some point we need to level off and would love to see the market have what we would consider a normal appreciation. So you do see the value of your home going up, but to have such a competitive situation where now the value of a home is based on how much I have to pay to actually acquire it, it's, I, I just don't think it's healthy for the market. Okay, so what are organizations like Zillow and appraisers on the ground, how are they dealing with this? Uh, I'm not, I. I'm not real familiar with how Zillow approaches it. I know that we do, at least in in our brokerage with my partners that I work with, um, have some frustrations with what Zillow puts out there. Um, we have seen properties that aren't even necessarily listed um, show up or names attached to properties that aren't necessarily our listings and then Sometimes it's not even accurate information. So it does cause some frustration out for those who are shopping for a home or looking to list theirs because then when we in our industry go back out as the professionals and say, listen, that's not really what reality is, um, it, it, it causes some tension and, and frustration for sure. And um, Zillow is, wonderful, is a wonderful tool, but it's certainly not, um, not the, only, the only answer. So, and, and it's interesting because I myself was looking to do a refi on, on my home loan and I called the uh, mortgage company that I've been with for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years and their response uh, was to go to Zillow and a couple mm -hmm. of other of these sources um, and say, okay, yeah, we can qualify you based on this. So 
money is being moved based on these companies, whether their algorithms are correct or not. Let's take a break. We'll come back much more on this topic after this timeout. Get in on the Tamarack Casino's $175,000 Hidden Treasures Guaranteed Giveaway now through September 30th. Earn entries in the weekly drawings and win big during the two $35,000 grand prize giveaways. Your good times are at Tamarack Casino. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty, adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. Serving Our Kids Foundation's mission is to serve homeless, at-risk, and food insecure children in grades K through 8 throughout Southern Nevada. During the pandemic, Serving Our Kids has seen a 42% increase in the number of children served, providing more than 4,500 meals to kids in over 100 schools weekly. Serving Our Kids is powered by community support and volunteers. To learn how you can help, visit servingourkids.org. Modern Boutique Ahern Hotel and Events Center in Las Vegas. Host meetings and events on two floors. Stay in luxurious rooms and suites. Unlimited branding opportunities. Regional Italian cuisine by Chef Mark Segrisi. Flexible event spaces. Full buyout options. Visit ahernhotel.com today. Get in on the Tamarack Casino's $175,000 Hidden Treasures Guaranteed Giveaway now through September 30th. Earn entries in the weekly drawings and win big during the two $35,000 grand prize giveaways. Your good times are at Tamarack Casino. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Teresa DiLoretto. She is the broker owner of Challenger Real Estate Services, and she and her family are working on the Monte Ranch project, which is a huge project, uh, currently working on about 127 uh, acres, 127, yes, acres. Um, so, so let me ask you this, because you were talking about, you know, the Reno Sparks area is essentially running out of land because it's landlocked. Um, and so you are seeing a couple of other developments that are going in that are reasonably large and some that are coming upon completion like uh, the former Park Lane project. Mm -hmm. um, it's stunning to see how much you can put on a piece of land if you uh, go vertical. Um, Downtown Sparks, the same thing. Uh, John Esquire, rest his soul, um, would have been thrilled uh, when he owned the Nugget to have seen how much property was going up around his mm -hmm. property. Um, but where do you see um, the affordable housing going? Is it going to be places like Fernley, Fallon, um, Dayton, um, where people are going to be taking a bus ride into Reno, which is not a bad thing? Sure. I, uh, we like to use the word achievable um, as opposed which to is affordable. a great word. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, achievable is defined by the individuals and their families. And so I think that um, as the desires for our consumers, our home buyers change, we have a responsibility as developers to really study that and understand that so that we can deliver out into the community what best serves the community. So to answer your question, I think it depends on the location. I think it depends on what we're seeing in the way of trends and who's coming in. And um, I do think that Fernley and, you know, obviously the North Valleys has grown tremendously. And, and we do have um, some more that we're doing out here in the south end of the valley. So we, um, I think that as far as achievable housing, it's defined by the, the home buyer themselves. And of course, we'd like to see, um, you know, what I think has been most recently referred to as a missing middle. Um, but we are constantly chasing our construction costs. And so as land becomes limited, construction costs are higher, the, the, the prices that we have to put the homes out into the market um, 
have to match that. Right, so and, and, and the, the cost of workforce. I mean, at this point, I'm aware of companies that are going out there and stealing crews uh, by going out there and offering, they're on a job and they go and offer them more money and suddenly that crew has disappeared to another company. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's some interesting dynamics out there. I can speak for, again, our family and uh, we feel super blessed because we have an unbelievable team from um, you know our own in-house team to our subcontractors, our suppliers, and um, loyalty that's followed us um, over the course of 40 plus years right. in home building. So. Um, okay, so uh, one last question on this and then I wanna turn to a different topic with you. Um, what you're building to me appears to be in South Reno mm -hmm. um, is a, a smaller equivalent, but in quality, the same of downtown Summerlin. Mm -hmm. um, am, am I right about that? Well, that's certainly our vision. Uh, we're very excited about what the future brings for the Damani Ranch. Um, we have over 6,000 residential units out there, uh, a beautiful Damani Ranch Park, the high school, the uh, elementary school that will be uh, soon to begin construction, and of course our Damani Ranch Station 12 fire station. And so the land that you see that's left, we feel like we've saved the best for last. Um, we have a vision of creating a go-to place, a sense of there, a place where not just the Damani Ranch homeowners, but the entire South and or the entire Reno community can come and gather almost like a downtown Damani Ranch. Um, we are we are super excited. We're in the conceptual site planning stages and are looking forward to making a big announcement here before long. Well, you have a place to make that big announcement Wonderful. anytime you want. <laughs> Let's take another break and we'll be right back. Thank you. 7 at 7 is available anytime, anywhere. I'm Riley Smith with your Vegas Golden Knights. Watch seven minutes of nonstop news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Streaming on LVRJ.com and YouTube. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm Jeff Gehrman, an investigative reporter with the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm your guide for season two of Mobbed Up, The Fight for Las Vegas. You're in with every gangster and hoodlum in the United States. I don't go for that, Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. I don't go for that kind of action. I was on television accused of fronting for the mob. Subscribe to Mobbed Up, The Fight for Las Vegas, season two, today on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. The Do It Right guys at Nevada Heating have one mission. Your air conditioner breaks down today. We fix it today. Why sweat for days while your air is down when Nevada Heating can get the job done today and you can get cool again? For nearly 50 years, locally owned Nevada Heating has been getting the job done right. Call today at 323-5585 or see us online at nevadaheating.com. 7 at 7 is available anytime, anywhere. I'm Riley Smith with your Vegas Golden Knights. Watch seven minutes of nonstop news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Streaming on LVRJ.com and Twitter. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Teresa DiLoretto. She's the broker owner of Challenger Real Estate Services. And she and her family have been very much involved in the Nevada Military Support Alliance. And, you know, the big news um, nationally, internationally um, over the last few weeks has been uh, the uh, United States military returning from Afghanistan. And what role do you see the Support Alliance playing for those troops coming home? Well, thank you. Uh, Nevada Military Support Alliance is uh, extremely important to me and, and our family for sure. Um, the Nevada Military Support Alliance was originally founded on um, supporting our Gold Star families when a soldier was killed in action, brought back to the state of Nevada. We paid death benefits to those families. You can't put a price tag on the life loss, but certainly we can recognize the sacrifice that they all made and, and maybe just take even a little bit of, of uh, some burden away. Um, over time, we saw fewer people coming back um, deceased and came back with catastrophic injuries. So the Nevada Military Support Alliance shifted its focus into building specially adapted homes um, for those wounded uh, warriors and, um, and helping them be able to live a more normalized life in a comfortable environment. Uh, that also started to slow 
And so we started to identify more of a transitional need. So as they were coming out of combat areas and um, coming off a of deployment, how they reintegrated back into the community. And many of them were going to school up at the, the University of Nevada, Truckee Meadows Community College and such. So to answer your question, we address transition and one of our main focuses and our very um, focused future is on mental health and wellness for our, our veterans, um, military and their, their families and spouses um, because the death by suicide rate uh, is is becoming increasingly high in comparison even to lives lost in the line of duty. So uh, Nevada Military Support Alliance has partnered with a group called the Nevada Peer Support Network, which is compromised of not just our military, but also law enforcement, first responders and firefighters, because they're looking to come together to support each other and address those mental health and wellness issues break down the stigma associated with that. And so as things seem to settle down overseas and they're starting to come home, Nevada Military Support Alliance is committed to be a resource and work with partners like the Peer Support Network to be able to do what we can to help support them as they transition back. That sounds like another show for us to do. <laughs> so thank you so much for what you, you do. And thank you for filling us in on exciting developments in housing and that, that price on that one house. That was pretty amazing. How about that? Almost half a million dollars <laughs> over asking oh, price. Dear. Wow. We'll be right back. Brian Culpa Photography was born in the rolling hills of Massachusetts, and now he can help you experience the stunning beauty of Nevada in a whole new way through the power of flight. Flying has always been a passion for Brian, and at Brian Culpa Photography, he can make your imagination soar. Brian has the creative mind and tools to tell your unique story. Experience the bird's eye view at brianculpaphotography.com. Hi, my name's Marilyn Miner, and I'm sure you'd agree that Nevada is a very special place to live. I was born here, and my husband and I have raised our family here. I feel it's a privilege to live and work in the Truckee Meadows. I especially enjoy helping my clients reach their real estate goals. Sometimes the smallest details provide the greatest satisfaction. I'd be complimented to talk to you about your next move. Call Marilyn Miner at Dixon Realty, 742-1280, or log on to MarilynMiner.com. Safety, we all think about it. You think about it when he buckles in, when you check your mirrors and put away your phone. RTC thinks about safety too. In fact, we create it. Center turn lanes mean fewer blind spots. Bike lanes keep cyclists and you safe. Roundabouts reduce injury collisions, and all these crosswalks are designed to keep families like yours safe. Safety is your priority, and it's ours too. Every day, in everything we do. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. Don't forget another way of watching Nevada Newsmakers is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nevada Newsmakers on YouTube. We'll see you on the next broadcast.